everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, okay. So I'm on the Rad Rover and I am headed to Father's Only Dad's Day Community Event. All right, I'm already registered and got my two tickets for beer. A little uh, cornball. All right, left hand. Yes. What's the third time? Three bags. 50, 60 pounds on ice. Let me grab one here. All right. And so uh, I am not wearing my compression tights and I don't have a helmet. I don't have a helmet. I don't have a helmet because. Uh, a lot of things. Uh, I got my bump cap and on my high vis. Uh, a couple of reasons. Um, because this thing is taking place at uh, at night. So it's taking place, well, right now it's five o'clock, five ish. And uh, I'm going to not take, I'm going to take the streets just a little bit. So I'm going to take the streets just a little bit, but for the most part, I'm going to be, uh, I'll be taking, I'm going to be taking the, uh, the sidewalk. So that's what I'm planning on doing here. It, it's still sunny. It's like five o'clock. The event is like from six to, uh, to eight. So, um, I'm not wearing, I am not wearing my compression tights and ow, I am feeling the heat of the sun. So this is like a dad's only event. They're giving free beer, free food. So I'm taking it and uh, I'm gonna ride my bike there. Kids are at home, wife is actually at work, like in the office kind of work. And I'm stuck at this stoplight, waiting for my turn. So I'll ride just a little bit, then head on to the uh, head on to the uh, sidewalk after this. But it is still hot. It is still hot out here. pass by all right all right so I'm gonna be taking the sidewalk so most of most of what I'm doing is gonna be taking the sidewalk here on um, pedal to five gear seven so this is a sidewalk run, or maybe I will go onto the street. I don't want to take too long. Well, let me have a look in the mirror. Okay, I'm going to take the street, but I'm not going to pedal so fast. Matter of fact, I'm going to throttle because I don't want to be too sweaty. I want to have fun. I don't want to be sweaty. So I have my buff on, I have the buff over the hat and over my face so the hat doesn't, uh, so the hat doesn't uh, fly off. The hat is high viz, it, will, it has piping on it because I'm leaving around uh, 5, the event starts at 6 and so uh, I'm going to be coming home possibly in the dark, so I think the headlights are okay. I charged the rear tail, tail lights, and uh, 
I didn't bring my compression tights. I just have my sneakers, tennis shoes or whatever, and socks and shorts. Of course, I'm wearing the uh, fisherman's uh, t-shirt. It's called a fisherman's shirt. It's like a very, it's like a long sleeve t-shirt that's very breathable, wicks away sweat. But I am wearing the Flexi Freeze because it's it's a high vis Flexi Freeze, so I'm gonna need that at night. And plus, I need it right now because I'm <laughs> it's it's really hot and humid. I spent the day. I'm just throttling. I'm not pedaling. I spent the day um, just doing some yard work, and man, I was sweating, sweating balls, sweating balls big time. Jeez. So this community event is no cost to me. I had to register for it. Because I guess there's a limited amount of available beer and food. And I'm just throttling, I'm not pedaling. Because I don't want to sweat when I get there. I kind of want to, you know, a, little, a part of me, a part of me wants to uh, show off the bike a little bit. And it is a way for me to, you know, socialize. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what other people think. If if someone wants to ride the bike over there, I, I will let them. Because it's a sh social event. It's just dads only. So, most likely, they're probably similar to me, maybe similar in age group or similar in interest or similar in finance, you know, so there's really nothing to sell or, you know, score some social points, we're just there to have some fun, that's all it is, and that's all I'm, that's all I'm doing too, it's just having fun. Uh, there's an Astros game tonight, although uh, I did see the news before I left and apparently there was a building, there's a condo that collapsed in Miami, in Florida. I don't know if that's going to affect the mood. I hope it doesn't. So I'm not wearing heavy gear, I'm wearing very light gear. And it feels wonderful. I'm, I'm leaving around after a little bit after five before six, and with the flexi freeze vest, with the flexi freeze vest, uh, it's uh, it feels nice and cool instead of very humid. Oh, I got a lot of headwind here. Maybe I'll pedal a little bit. Casetas are out like crazy. I did bring my backpack with all my, you know, batteries and power bank and everything. I, I also brought uh, my breathable pants just in case mosquitoes, you know, when, when it starts getting to that uh, evening dawn or dawn or well, anyway, when the sun starts setting, you know, mosquitoes might come out. They're having an Astros game. It's an outdoor patio. It's it's at the clubhouse for the most part. So it's at the clubhouse. I'll pedal a little bit. Let me have some fun. It actually feels nice and breezy. I feel the wind in my on my legs. Feels good. Oh, I'm in the sun. Throttle time. Oh, got a little spray from the uh, fountain over there. Hopefully that's not affecting the camera. It's just a little little spray. A little windy out here. So let me just throttle, go back to throttle only. Just throttling. So I'm just gonna throttle. I'm not in a hurry. I left a little early just so I could enjoy the ride. There's a lot of wind here. Let me pedal. So 
it looks like I got the sun to my back. Hopefully everything's in uh, really good resolution out here. And again, I'm back to throttling. I like these, I like these gloves, but they're starting to fall apart on me. Jeez. Anyways, I have to figure out what to do uh, next year because I think these gloves are not available anymore. So I might have to try to find another glove. I like these gloves because uh, they're very breathable on the top part because it just molds, you know, it's, it's like uh, spandex on top and then a light leather on the bottom, kind of almost like a suede, but it has these vibration dampeners. But unfortunately, they're uh, when you when you sweat, and then when they get wet, it just stains it. And I, and I use this like during the summer a lot. But today, I'm not going to be sweating. I hope not. I feel good though. Whew, a lot of wind. It's been like we had some like rain coming through here. I'll try to avoid some of this. My front tire has been losing, slowly losing air. I'm not sure what it is. Got to watch out for this guy. All right. So my front tire is slowly losing air. I don't know if there's an actual thorn still in the on the tire itself and it's puncturing the tube or if it's just the tube. I don't, I'm not sure. I put slime in it so it, it does help. It's not losing air completely but I was a little surprised how much air I lost. I lost almost almost all the air. I put 20 psi in the front tire. When I checked it before I left it had like I don't know 5 psi. So and I checked the uh, I checked the tire, I checked the inside and made sure it was uh, it was okay. I'm on throttle only. I might have to help it. Let's help it a little bit. So the rear tire, it's still at 20 PSI. That's the new inner tube, a new tire. All right. Ooh, I got the sun in my back. I don't want to sweat too much. I want to get there and I want to not be a ball of sweat, you know? And I'm leaving right when people are kind of coming home, so it's not really, it's a little, uh, a lot of, well, I wouldn't say it's dangerous, but it's more traffic than I prefer. Okay, I think I can walk. All right, so I'm just gonna throttle from here. I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm gonna let the, the breeze kind of hit me and let the flexi freeze cool me down. The pool is not open today. Maybe they'll be open tomorrow. I haven't been riding my bike uh, in the past few days just because it's kind of been rainy. Like, like it, like it's rain will just suddenly it happened it's kind of been spotty you know so i don't want to get caught in the rain like i did last time but i waited i think this morning it rained so i waited uh around this time because the chance of rain was like in the single digits and it looks really nice feels good too a little humid though a little humid starting to feel that humidity a little bit but as long as I got the uh, got the flexi freeze vest to uh, kind of compensate for that and I'm just using the cramp buster to kind of go with, using the cramp buster to throttle my way through here got a green light it's gonna not in a hurry it's gonna take it and I just pedal here now and then and Use the throttle, you 
know. So I'm not going really fast, I'm just taking it easy. So I'm looking forward to this uh, dad's only, you know, community event. It's, I think it's supposed to be like a Father's Day community event, but they're not going to have it. It's, it's not after Father's Day. I don't think they're going to have this after on Father's Day because nobody would come. Let me slow down a little bit here. So I'm just going to throttle. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not in a hurry or anything. I'm just going to throttle my way through. I don't want to sweat. So let the bike do most of the work. I'm using the bike as transportation and a little bit of cargo. I took out, I took out the, the moving blanket and the, uh, the tarp out of the front because I used it for uh, another community event. It was like a, it turned out to be like a Juneteenth celebration but anyways we went to the pool and we, we went to the food truck and enjoyed the concert so I used the moving blanket and the uh, and the uh, tarp to uh, sit down on the uh, grass because there's a lot of there's still a lot of like fire ants out there so I got a lot a lot more room you can, it's kind of well it has a lot more room so I got my backpack my breathable pants Oh, there's a lot of cars. Going to have to wait here for a little while. Just a little while. There's a lot of cars out here. A lot of cars. There's a Rover, a Tesla, the Harvest Trolley. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they just stopped. Isn't that nice? They're just in a, you know, you know you live in a very wonderful, great community when people just stop. They don't have to stop, but they stop for you, you know. Isn't that the kind of place where you want to live? I know that's the kind of place I want to live. All right, let me get on this side here. So yeah, so I'm on throttle only again. I think I'll, I'll probably be early, even though I left kind of a little bit later than five o'clock than what I wanted to. So uh, it'll be a day ride and potentially at, at when I leave, it might become a night ride which I might actually uh, put the camera right here and uh, we'll do a, a bar mount facing forward and a bar mount facing me kind of thing. I'll do a picture within picture. I think at night it stabilizes way... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm glad I wore the buff. I just had like a wasp. I think it was a wasp. Raise my cheek. Wow. Anyways, uh... At night, the bar, uh, camera on the bar mount is way more stable than on chest mount or anything else. There we go. I'm a little early. Are they barbecuing already? I think they're, they're barbecuing just a little bit. I smell something. Let me just see what they got going. Oh, uh, kind of.
All right, I'm already registered and got my two tickets for beer. A little uh, corn ball. All right, left hand. Yes. What's the third time? Three bags. 50, of 60 pounds of ice. Let me grab one here. All right. 